Give me under 3 minutes and I'll tell you the lie you've been fed about coding. Most people think coding is a series of complex math equations or that they must be good at math to start coding. Put your math textbooks aside. You ready for the truth? Coding is a superpower that helps you take an idea in your head and make it real. By the end of this video, I'll make you see coding as your ticket to ultimate freedom rather than a boring chore. Stop treating coding like a high school math exam. It's not about being good at calculations. Coding is about organizing ideas. Think about it like this. You're not solving impossible math equations, you're just giving instructions to a computer. When you tell someone how to go to a grocery store, you don't use math, you say, turn left, go straight, and you'll find it there. Simple, right? Guess what? Coding works the same way. I'm not oversimplifying, I mean it. You break a big idea into clear steps and write them using a programming language so that the computer understands. The hard part is to learn how to be clear with your thinking and translate that thinking into code. I still remember the first time I learned Python, my first programming language. I wasn't doing something impressive. I just typed 1 plus 1 and hit run. Suddenly, there was an answer. It sounds silly, I know, but in that moment, I was hooked. I didn't solve an equation from a math assignment, I simply gave an instruction. Calculate 1 plus 1. That's it. That tiny win felt like a possibility. And that's what made me say, if my computer solved this simple instruction, what else can I do? Can I build a website, an app, an automation system by simply giving an instruction to this machine? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. You're going to hit a wall eventually. I did too. You'll see not just one, but many error messages and just want to close that laptop for the day. Being good at math will not save you in these moments, but curiosity will. Think of it like a fuel in your car. It's what keeps you moving when things get difficult. I remember building a simple calculator and then just wondering how it would look like on my phone. I wasn't trying to do anything impressive, I was just curious. That single question pushed me forward and suddenly, I was learning how to build mobile apps, not because I was solving math equations, but because I was thinking clearly about what my project needed to do. Now, math has its place. It teaches you logic. It trains your brain to think in steps. But math doesn't decide whether or not you can code. You do. And if you don't start coding, you'll miss out on freedom. Since coding is what happens when you take clear thinking and turn it into something real. That's where coding offers you freedom, like working remotely, building tools that solve people's problems, and offers you the power to turn your idea into something real. That's a superpower. You can have it if you put your mind into coding. So do you still think math is the problem? Or the problem is that you reached this far and still didn't start coding. Listen, here's my challenge. Learn one coding language and build a project. And forget that math is stopping you from coding. Because in reality, you are stopping yourself.